go. Hold this on. nigga don't never answer the fucking phone. Made me wanna smack him in this shit. Education. This nigga don't never answer my call. When people don't answer my calls, I swear to God, look. You don't answer my call, I block. Know me. I do no flagging dog. Been snapping dog. And on Zeta to the feet up, I be zigzagging dog. Tootie Raw does it again. <laughs> Tootie Raw gonna live the legacy of Boosie for real, man. I did a video saying I rock with both sides of the TBG and, you know, the NBA and them and the shit. You know, I don't pick no sides, but Tootie Raw going brazy, bro. Apparently, he done dissed the guys again in, in another video, and he's, go he's going for a Lil Ivy Jr. Because Lil Ivy Jr. talking spicy, too. Now, before I get started with this video, let me at least show y'all what video I'm talking about. All right, y'all could y'all could go. Hold this on. This nigga don't never answer the fucking phone. Made me wanna smack him in this shit. Education. This nigga don't yeah. never answer my call. When people don't answer my calls, I swear to God, look. You don't answer my call, I block you. I swear to God, I block you. I don't even wanna talk no more because I feel like you don't wanna talk to me then. You can't be doing that because when like educational you? purpose, man. Like. Okay, Tootie Raw clearly is in the midst of an up and down situation he got going. Folks is saying his people name and he ain't going for it. So Tootie Raw got to make an example. Now that example could be anybody involved. Anybody could get it. Everybody could get it. I did. I said a statement to Boosie, you know, about this and that. But who am I to tell another man how to raise his kids? I just more like Tootie Raw style. I like Boosie since I was, you know, in middle school. You know what I mean? So... I want to see this man, son, and him win. So you don't want to see nothing happen to Tootie Raw. So when I make a video saying Tootie did this or that, it's just more concerned and proud of the man at the same time. Because we don't got to guess no more if Tootie Raw could rap. Will he be good? He already arrived and, and show you he's a great, good rapper. Now the parts they got to work on is market that dude in a different fashion. But he's clearly talking. Ivy Jr. ain't backing up. Tootie Raw ain't backing up, and I'm pretty sure Boosie know what it is, and, and Boosie feel like his little boy is a grown man now. He ain't a little boy no more. You know, we know allegedly he got he's having another child, well, one his first child, and Boosie is allegedly going to be a grandfather. Some of y'all know it's the truth, but I'm going to say allegedly because you never know the mix and turns, but... <sighs> the streets, man, they got a way of not being... Uh, 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 basically, they don't care about youngins out here, bro. Like, we see young folks losing their life every day. So the streets really don't play fair. The streets really got no loyalty. So that's, I, I'm a little bit wary of things like that. Maybe not today, but as Tootie Raw get older, who's gonna try to make an example? You know what I mean? Like, I feel personally you should leave that man alone. But then again, when you jump face first, two feet in the street shit, bro, it's like everything is allowed. There ain't no rules to this physical contact sport. And you gotta know that already. It's a physical contact sport. No ifs and buts about it. You gotta know what it is, bro. You gotta move a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Watch the vernacular. Basically, bro, the way you calling dudes out, you gotta be ready to stand on that shit. And I think he is. I think he was raised the right way. Having all them alleged steppers around you, dudes ready to get down for your dad. I'm pretty sure, obviously, they'll get down for 2D Raw too. And it, it done probably made him a beast up here mentally, but I don't think Tootie Raw is a dude who don't calculate his moves. I really believe the young man thought about it. He thought about the situations and was like, I'm going to fall back from doing X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to be straightforward like this. I think he planned it out. He know which route he want to take. And who am I to tell somebody how to respond when folks and them saying your name? Because Ivy been saying this man's name for a minute now, over a year. Y'all know that. When Ivy Jr. started calling Boosie's name and straight disrespecting Boosie. And then um, the sister started disrespecting Boosie. And y'all know Lit Yoshi is the nephew of Ivy. He been disrespecting Boosie. Like, uh, Yoshi, I understand that. He's an alleged real stepper out here, allegedly. You know what I mean? He moved different now. 
the kids is I used to always see Boosie saying he raised them, he loved them. So a lot of it got me feeling off a little bit. It's like, are they being misinterpreted and their misconception about Boosie through all, like what older folks is telling them? Like you got a lot of partners in them who'll slide to you and be like, oh, don't rock with Boosie Boo. He turning a fuck nigga out of here. You know what I mean? He ain't the dude we try to get trill with and trill on it. And, and that can lead to bad behaviors through the kids that you once upon a time called your kids. Boosie didn't just talk about his kids. He talked about his partners in them kids and his rounds that he done made into his own kids. So I wanna know what happened between them years and now, cause they said Boosie ain't never did nothing for them. But I wanna sit back and be like, it's kinda hard for me to just jump in and say Boosie ain't did nothing. Boosie been locked up for like five years and some change. Like, was this the time period where the hate grew? Because it's easy for a kid to grow up and be like, he don't fuck with you. And yet you did everything for that kid when you was younger. Man, I, I pay attention and I look forward and I look at it. And I'm seeing a, a misconception that's falling back, way back. So it's gonna be twists and turns, knots that gotta be unlocked. So that means you gotta find a way to talk to this man over here or this partner over here and make amends. But I feel like the way Ivy kids are going about this and Boosie, I don't really see no peace in the mid future. Now what I'm hoping is, what I don't see what's about to come, like it's going from a diss song to something a little bit higher. Cause when I seen pictures of Ivy Jr., he looked like he was a good basketball player. He was in the AAU playing good scrimmages and all that. So what happened? Like, now nah, he out here. You know, I don't want to blame Fredo Bang and, and his uncle Lit Yoshi like that. I ain't gonna, well, his cousin Lit Yoshi. I ain't gonna blame him like that. I gotta look like, who's around these dudes giving them gossip and drama about the next man? That's what we gotta pay attention to. Who's telling them that Boosie didn't do this? And they're like, how the hell you gonna know what I did for you when you wasn't even old enough to understand your A, Bs, and Cs? You know what I mean? How the hell this youngster know how to say all this on the track? I ain't did this. I ain't been looking out that. Nah, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. It sound like an adult got across you and started making you, you know, basically being internalized with a lot of F-ish just to get it their way, bro. I personally feel that way. And that's kind of wrong, gang. I don't think that's the route you should take in a position like that. You know what I mean? You never bring the kids into a beef. Y'all might feel some type of way about Boosie. You might be in your rights to feel that way about Boosie. But my thing is, why would you internalize it into now I'm gonna get the kid to be beefing with this man? Because you never knew that could have been your child blessing right there. You claim Boosie didn't do nothing for them, but you never know when somebody might be feeling obligated to do this and that. You know what I mean? You can't tell them when to show their cards to you. Like, come on, bro. I think Boosie genu genuinely had love for Ivy Jr. and Ivy's sister and even Lit Yoshi. Cause Lit Yoshi was a little youngster out here when Boosie, you know, was, was out here too. But he was a little bit old enough to remember certain things. And I'm pretty sure Boosie was buying everything for you, Yoshi. He was doing this and that. I think where everything went left was cause of the NBA Youngboy situation. And I'm gonna be honest, people have personal gripes. You know, Ivy done started this TBG shit and niggas like Boosie, you would then he'll be the flagship of it. I'm not saying he'll be on the label, but if that's your partner, I can understand him. Like, Boosie should be promoting more, and you just always seen him giving love to young boy and them like that. And even his kids is connected to them and all that. It does feel weird why the kids in them ain't connected to Ivy and them people. Why they ain't, you know, you don't see them over there rocking with TBG and them. It does look weird, especially when you find out Fredo Bang. You know, he the family. So now it's like TBG is really supposed to be Boosie's home team. Your best friend done started this movement and you got a first cousin in this. Like, bro, I don't, like, I understand both sides, bro. Boosie might feel like I done did what I could as a friend. I don't owe nobody nothing other than what I could do for you on my own times. So basically he ain't out here to have people telling him what to do with his own bread, how he should do it. I think he's in his rights too for that. But if you asking me personal, that's why I don't really trust folks like that. This ain't me knocking boots or saying nothing mean. I just know when, when you die, people act like they care about you, but they really do forget you. And not only that, they don't look out for your loved ones. They don't look out for your family. They don't look out for your kids. I seen this shit repeatedly, bro. This is normal, this ain't new. So with the Boosie situation, I mean, I think it's deep. He even says things like that. He would rock with Fredo Bang more, but they got guys on their side, you know, that got personal things with them on their side. So 
I, I think it's deeper than he say, she say. It started that way, but then it done, it done turn up, bro. Like when, when blood is being shed out here, folks do look at you to pick sides. I don't pick no sides, but everybody and their mama want you to pick sides when that start happening because they don't lost their people. And when you lose your people, they can never be peace according to that man and woman feeling. You got to understand both sides, man. I hope Tootie Ross stay safe out here because... They entrenched in, in, in a beef down there, and it look like it's getting wild, man. Look, I'm your God Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang. Do no flagging, dog. Been snapping, dog. And on Zeta to the feeder, I be zigzagging, dog.